course, this is Slayer. <laughs> I don't know. Slayer. I just not. I, I really. I was. That was meant for Mel, who's apparently busy doing something else, so she could yell at me. Like I really need to give her reasons Slayer. to yell at me. Slayer. I love yeah, Slayer. I honestly couldn't name one Slayer, and I'm a rock and roll guy. Now, Dwayne, you're a confessed metalhead, of course, yeah. right? Born and raised. Yep. What was your favorite first? Your first favorite band, probably, was Kiss. Yeah, Kiss. Right. It took me a while. I didn't grow up a Kiss fan, but I've gone under some sort of epiphany with a lot of music. It took me a while to get on board with the Doors, and now I just love them. Of I course, Guns and Roses was my first. Guns and Roses. Real love. Yes. Who was your first concert, Mel? It was White Snake in '87. Oh, Wasn't that's that right. Listening oh. earlier? No, I really wasn't. Higher Grounds <laughs> Trading <I've> Company. Seen, <laughs> yeah. I've seen uh, Guns N' Roses and Metallica at least three or four times, and Aerosmith as well. Oh. I say GNR, Metallica, and Aerosmith are my favorites. I've seen Aerosmith. I've seen White Snake. I've seen. Oh, do you remember our good friends from Skid Row, Sebastian yes. Bach? When they were hot for about 45 yeah. minutes. Canadian. He's on Celebrity yeah. Fit Club now. Oh, my God. Is he really? How does he yeah, look? He's, a, uh, he's gained some weight, and he's a cup of crazy. Does Well, yeah. Does he still have the long hair? Yes. Ricky was a young boy, right? Yes. Two. They had two hits, if I'm not mistaken. 18 in Life and... Uh, Oh, gosh. 18 and Life was their big video craze. Yeah. They had the, I remember when I went to see them with Aerosmith. They opened for Aerosmith. Uh, I he remember was, you. Oh, yeah. they had yeah. three hits, and Youth Gone Wild. Youth Gone Wild was big. Oh. Yeah. But 18 and Life to Go was their big one, and they, was, they were saying how it was the number one video in the world. And then they quickly fell off the map, yeah. right? They well, after much... he threw that bottle at that 18-year-old kid at the concert, yeah. Oh, come on. I was at a David Lee Roth concert at the Forum in the 80s, and someone threw a cherry bomb at the stage, and it blew up. Well, and David Lee Roth stopped the concert and said, all right, pass that bleepity bleep up here and I'm going to kick his. Oh, man, it was awesome. Loudest concert I've ever been to was a practice session, though, for David Lee Roth. Could not hear for three days. Wow. Yeah, it was very loud. That was after he left Van Halen, of course, and he he was just, man, he's a little crazy, too. Higher Grounds Trading Company, justice seeking quality obsessed coffee is the official coffee of the Vic McCarty Show. 100% fair trade and organic. Higher Grounds Trading Company. Dot com. Also, like to thank the Holiday Inn in Traverse City for taking care of Dwayne and his wife. Yes. Uh, they've been Holiday very good to you over there. Holiday Inn West Bay, as opposed to what? Uh, is there an? I don't know. Is there There's an Holiday, Holiday, Holiday Inn Express, but Holiday Inn West right. Bay, uh, and they've been very nice to you over there. Oh yeah, treat us yeah. like, and like thanks kings to Dean and queens. As well. Yeah, yeah. For sweet. Us up. And thanks to our very good friend Dean, who's sticking his cell phone in a mug in there. Could I fit? What is wrong with you today? Could I finish? <laughs> He's sticking his cell phone in a bag of rice to dry it out. Apparently, he washed it yesterday. Dean, while being very nice, not so smart. Well, I seen him uh, with a bag of rice walking. Yeah, he, he stuck wondering. it in there to absorb. I thought he was like a health guy or something. I'm having rice for lunch or something. I don't know. Well, he does make fun of me when I bring Taco Bell in the morning. Oh, Sometimes I just need something to eat. And well, then, of I course, my, yeah, my new uh, higher grounds pound of coffee. Uh, they're they're gonna they're making a delivery. Excellent. And I think we have an extra pound that I could probably send up with someone. But blame it on Betsy for not showing up to business after hours. I will. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, you're working, Dwayne, on two books simultaneously yes. now. What, do you, what, are the, what are those? The, the Memorial Gardens book for this, the Sioux book, whatever. And actually, there's some famous people going to be involved in that. You know, some guy from Triumph, Street Heart, a couple mm-hmm. of famous Canadian bands, whatever. And then the second book um, is just growing up in Walla, you know, having no... No record store, no nothing. Wow. Know, and, and becoming a metalhead, you know, small town metalhead. So where would you get your fix? Where would you have to go? Uh, much Music. Used where, to, you know, where was that? That was the uh, the MTV of Canada or whatever. Oh, is so, that right? Yeah, we were just spoon-fed. Once, but once they a, must have been behind the America, uh, America's MTV. I think they were pretty close, actually, yeah. And really, that didn't take hold for a while. I remember MTV only having a certain amount of videos. You watch for a couple hours, you could start seeing them repeat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Back when MTV oh, actually played videos. Right. Yeah. Did you know MTV got rid of the, underneath it has a logo, and then it says music television. They got rid of music television. Well, yeah, because they're not music television. They haven't been music television. Right. Forever, no. They're too busy showing kids at spring break, and the Jersey Shore, which is just vomitous. And and real world. They still do. They still do real world. They do. I mean, come on. It's just time to stop now. Really, just get out of here. All right. Um, I was going to ask you a question, and I forgot. Oh. 
Oh, who's the best Canadian metal group? The best Canadian metal group? Yeah. I don't know. I think everybody everybody would say Rush, except for me, because I'm not. Oh, a, I hate Rush. But I'm Rush not is a big Rush fan. But Rush, anymore. see, then this is the one problem I've had growing up: the difference between heavy metal and rock and and yeah. rock and roll bands. Because Rush was never heavy metal. No, I don't think so. No, no. So, I don't know what I don't know what where the line is. Yeah, exactly. Well, they used to say that Michael Jackson did rock and roll. He did really? anything. Yeah, Who said that's that. Not, I, well, you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, that's not rock and roll. No. Uh, well, how about Alice Cooper? You like Alice Cooper? Alice Cooper. Love Alice Cooper's. The love Alice, Alice Cooper the for sure. Yeah. We're not worthy. He's uh, he's cool. No, I think they the best used to he... refer to him as acid rock when I was a kid, oh, really? which I did. You know, just because he had snakes. Hey, I, Alice, nice snake. I like Alice. I yeah, contacted oh, yeah. contact yeah, Alice. Maybe that's his pickup line. Want to see my snake? Hey, want to see my boa? A best Canadian band. Triumph. Triumph, really? Yep. Triumph. Um, what was their big hit? Triumph. Oh, they had lots. Late on the Line is probably one of the best. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Who was their front man? Uh, depends. Rick Emmett or Gilmore, depending who was singing. All right. Getty Drop. Lee was with... Uh, with Rush. Rush, yeah. I'm not yeah. a fan of Getty Lee. Really? No. No. All right. Fine. I don't... Really? Not <laughs> no. a fan of Getty Lee no. either. No. Man, we got to have Too you amazing. back. Maybe we'll have you on the phone. We, I love the rock and roll stuff. Absolutely love it. All right, the, the book is Castle Stories, but the dental hygienist, Kelly, stole it from us when she walked in. She wanted to go through it. Uh-oh. So we'll find out what her favorite castle I wanted, But she's not old enough to have. When did when did they stop doing that? 96. 96. Yeah. She would have been a young pup, I think. But anyway. All right, it's Dental Health Month, so we'll be talking to my uh, dental hygienist coming up next. Hey, Dwayne, this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank Are you, you for coming. Are you going to with Dwayne? I didn't bring my... Oh, I've got my camera in the car. Yes. There you go. All right. All right. I'm going to go, and then we'll be back, but i got to hurry. So play this song out a little bit and give me a little extra time. All right. We'll be right back.